I've been expecting you. <laughs> It's time. Now, come on, Disney. Y'all can do better than this. Y'all really fall it off. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for the Nutcracker and the Four Realms, Better Late Than Never 2018 edition, I really do appreciate it. Now, I remember when I first reacted to this trailer a number of months ago. It looked good. It looked very colorful. I thought Disney was putting their money behind this, and they really did. And I thought that, you know, hey, you know, this may be something that if it's great, I can buy it on Blu-ray or 4K and just have a beautiful display at home. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Now, when it comes to the Nutcracker, of course, we've all heard of that before coming up. I just know it has to do with the gingerbread soldiers and toy soldiers and things like that. And remember the song, and all that good stuff. But as far as this movie, I mean, it's directed by uh, Lasse Hallstrom and Joe Johnson. I have no idea who she... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. This is... Um, I don't know. Oh, okay, this is a guy. I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I really could not tell by looking at that picture. Uh, but Joe Johnston, I mean, I'm a fan of his. October Sky, Rocketeer, Jurassic Park 3, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. I like all of those films, but I do not like this film at all for the most part. Only thing that I liked about this movie is the main actor. Uh, her name was Clara, played by Mackenzie Foy. I mean, she's cool. She was an intelligent character. She was bright. Um, she made smart decisions. You know, um, you know, she had a lot of things going for her. It seemed like, you know, you look at her and you say, like, okay, you know, this person has a positive future. I mean, they're going to do something with themselves. They're going to be somebody, do something worth their life. But other than that, I really didn't care for her. And, you know, especially like Morgan Freeman. I don't even know why he was in the movie. Um, he just kind of looked silly with an eye patch. And really none of the characters, none of the other characters I liked in this movie either. This kind of film reminds me of A Wrinkle in Time, another bomb that Disney made earlier this year and you had like um uh oprah winfrey and then those other two people i i I'm, uh i forgot their names but y'all know who i'm talking about there were three other similar characters like this in this film and uh, it was just really a distraction i really don't like over exaggerated characters with voices that are not realistic at all to what like oh my goodness i am the I mean, that, that's how some of the characters are acting. And so that just kind of tells me that like, okay, hey, this film right here is not tailored for adults. It is tailored towards children. That's fine. But then another grab about the movies, I don't even think that the film is tailored towards children. I mean, this film just does not know because there's a few sequences where um, there's like some ballet. And I'm, look, I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm, excuse me. I'm not a hater on ballet. I'm a fan of ballet. I'm not just, oh, ballet is on. I'm DVR it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I have seen some performances before and i was like damn that is beautiful that's what's up i like black swan one of the best movies of that year but in this movie it sucked i don't know why i mean ballet is such a beautiful elegant dance and to me it's really not that hard to capture but for some reason they could not do that in this film with some of the angles that they were uh delivering to you on screen i just really did not understand and then you got somebody like joe johnson first of all the movie is boring as hell and they're switching tones left and right like draws. And then all of a sudden we have this ballet scene out of nowhere. You can't even get the right angles. It's just, it's, I'm really just not feeling it. Then you have these over the top characters. And then all of a sudden the film turns into like Nightmare on the Elm Street to where you have these characters that are rolling around that look like walking, talking pillows that can switch heads. This is freaking terrifying. I mean, it's not funny and it's, it is scared the hell out of a five year old. So I really don't understand what they're trying to do there. And then at the end, I, I would give the film credit as far as like the costume design because there is a lot of detail in the costume design but at the same time there's just so much going on that you can't really appreciate the detail i mean it's just like it's, it's just a bunch of colors on screen that don't blend well together i mean and for so many colors the film felt flat it was bland the cinematography was trash 
And but then then again, you have all this CGI and blue screen and a green screen galore. Sometimes it was good. Sometimes it's like, okay, what well, what happened here? Is this green and blue screen multi million dollar film was this watercolor? I don't know. And then you, so you have all these elements bouncing back and forth, not mixing together at all. With a story and a plot that's just like, okay, dang, the woman's mother was gone and uh, Clara is looking for a key and then the message is like, okay, you're looking for something special, but everything was in you the whole time. Like, we've seen that a billion times before. I, I don't get it. I, I mean, I get it, but it's, it's just not a good story. It's not a good film. It's not a good character development, in my opinion. So, and then you have this this rat monster, like, Jesus, like, it, it was it was not good. Um, I really didn't enjoy this film, if you can tell. If I had to rate the Nutcracker and the Four Rams out of a 1 out of 10, I would give it a 3 out of 10. Yes, a 3 out of 10. I gave A Wrinkle in Time a 2 out of 10. I'm giving this one a 3 out of 10. Disney, y'all need to step it up with these magical fairy movies and things like that. But guys, that is just my opinion. Have you seen the Nutcracker and the Four Rams? And uh, uh, The Four Rams, like, why the hell do you want to go to Stay Away? You got three other realms you can kick it in, and you want to go to the Devil Land. Anyway, um, did I have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me, or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't that's fine but you can still subscribe to my channel you can also look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all that good stuff it's right there at the bottom of the screen and i made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff there in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning into my pants last review for the nutcracker and the four rams better late than never 2018 edition before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace